Hello. Bonsoir. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> Matt Damon is an American actor, screenwriter, and producer with many film awards, including an Oscar nomination. In this video, we will tell you how our hero started his career, how his personal life turned out, and how much money he made. How Matt Damon lives and how much he earns. Matthew Page Damon was born in the American city of Cambridge on October 8, 1970 to an ordinary family. His father, Kent, worked as a tax inspector and stockbroker, and his mother was a university professor. Our hero has an older brother, Kyle, who became a famous sculptor. Damon's early years were spent in the affluent Boston suburb of Newton, until his parents divorced in 1973. His mother and sons returned to Cambridge, where they settled in an apartment building. One of the neighbors was historian Howard Zinn, author of A People's History of the United States, which Matt later mentioned in his movie Goodwill Hunting. The boys maintained good relations with their father, although the parenting was entirely on the mother's shoulders. Damon dreamed of becoming a basketball player at an early age. He was always asking his family to throw the ball around with him, but one day his father told the boy a hard truth. Very few people in their family grew to at least 5'3", and the situation with sports training was even worse. After that, our hero forgot about his dream. It's worth noting that Matt's height is very modest by basketball standards, 5'6". At the age of 8, the future actor met 6-year-old Ben Affleck, who lived on the same street and, moreover, was a distant relative of Damon. The guys immediately became best friends. Their friendship is considered the strongest in Hollywood to this day. The boys began to think about an acting career while they were kids, and during their high school years they attended drama club, often performing on stage. As teenagers, Matt and Ben used their savings to buy two tickets to the Mickey Mouse Club Young Talent Competition in New York, but didn't get to the second round. When they returned home, their parents scolded them for deciding to go on the trip without letting their parents know. The guys didn't stop there, and in their free time they came up with various scenes which they then acted out for their friends. They also continued to go to auditions. A couple of times, they even got the roles of extras. After high school, Damon went to Harvard University where he focused on English and literature. In his free time, he took courses in screenwriting. During his university years, Matt told his parents that he was planning to go to a film audition in New York. However, they were not happy to hear that and said they would only support him if he would pay his way on his own. After saving $200, the guy went to conquer the world of cinema and soon got a minor role in the melodrama Mystic Pizza starring Julia Roberts. But 18-year-old Damon only got to say one line in the movie. After that, the young man starred in several other films where he was not even listed in the credits and also appeared in a commercial for a chain of department stores, TJ Maxx. It is interesting that Damon shared the earned money with Affleck. They both filled up a joint bank account after receiving even small royalties to be able to continue to go to auditions. In the meantime, Matt continued to attend university until finally dropping out in 1992 without a bachelor's degree. By the way, at the same period, the guy broke up with his girlfriend Skylar, whom he had been dating since high school. Damon decided that he did not have enough time for both filming and his personal life, so he chose a career. In the same 1992, the actor got the major role in the drama School Ties, which also starred Ben Affleck. In the next year, he appeared in the western Geronimo, an American legend. In 1995, Matt starred in the film Glory Days and The Good Old Boys. For the role in the latter, he received $20,000. The following year, our hero appeared in the action film Courage Under Fire, where he played a soldier. Tell me what happened that night. Well, she, she put us on two-hour watches. Um... It's not like any of us were going to sleep anyway. To get into the character, Damon lost about 44 pounds in a few months, because of which he later had serious health problems. Nevertheless, this role has become a breakthrough in his career. In 1997, Matt starred in the comedy drama Chasing Amy and the thriller The Rainmaker. Playing the role of a lawyer, according to the script, Damon's character had a southern accent, so the actor had to work for free as a bartender in Tennessee to hone it. 
The director also insisted that Matt live in his character's apartment. There are even a few shots in the film of Matt waking up, which were done in secret from him. However, the scene in which Danny DeVito's character wakes Damon's character up, who has fallen asleep on the bench, was also filmed unexpectedly for our hero, as he literally fell asleep while working on this episode. This film starred actress Claire Danes, with whom Matt was attributed an affair, but soon after the filming ended, the romance faded away. In the same year, the drama Good Will Hunting was released, in which Matt Damon and Ben Affleck not only played the main roles, but were also screenwriters. You like apples? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> The idea for the film came to the actor back in his student days when he wrote a short story to get credit for the drama class about a young janitor who turns out to be a brilliant mathematician. Subsequently, the idea was finalized with Affleck, and the hardest thing was left to bring it to life. Over the years, they heard only rejections, one of the reasons for which was their condition that they would play the main roles. The friends even prepared a trick. They added an unnecessary erotic scene to the script, trying to figure out if the studios had read the text at all. Only Miramax Films found this trick and eventually brought the project to fruition. And it should have, since the picture was awarded a Golden Globe and an Oscar for Best Screenplay. Damon was also nominated for these prestigious film awards as Best Actor, but failed to win. His fee then amounted to $300,000. On the set, Matt began an affair with actress Minnie Driver, who played Skylar. That was the name of Damon's ex-girlfriend, who became the prototype of the character. The relationship with Minnie was short-lived, and the breakup was not good. The girl admitted that she found out about the breakup from an interview with the actor, in which he said he was single. On New Year's Eve 1998, Matt met Winona Ryder at a party at Gwyneth Paltrow's house. A stormy romance began between the young people. They didn't hide their feelings in public, and a year later announced their engagement, bought an apartment, and began to live together. During this period, Matt appeared in the crime drama Rounders, where he played a poker player. It is interesting that in one of the scenes of the movie, Damon pulls money out of a poker book super system by the legendary poker player Doyle Brunson. Our hero played poker with him in real life at the World Championship in Las Vegas, but lost. Matt's fee for the movie was $600,000. Damon also starred in the war drama Saving Private Ryan. Tell her that when you found me, I was here and I was with the only brothers that I have left, and there's no way I was going to desert them." Before shooting, the actors were forced to undergo military training. An exception was made only for our hero, who, despite the presence of his character's name in the title of the film, was still assigned a minor role. In 1999, Damon starred in the sci-fi comedy drama Dogma, and in the thriller The Talented Mr. Ripley, where he played an ambitious con man, Tom. What's yours? Forging signatures. Uh telling lies, impersonating practically anybody. Nobody should have more than one talent. By the way, Tom Cruise was originally considered for this role. Before filming, our hero had to lose 300 pounds as well as learn to play the piano. The lessons allowed the actor to play in the frame the necessary fingering of the piano, but the music in the film was recorded by professional pianists. Matt was nominated for an MTV Award and a Golden Globe Award for his role in the film and received a fee of $5 million. In 2000, Damon voiced the cartoon Titan AE and starred in Finding Forrester and The Legend of Bagger Vance, for which he spent a month learning to play golf. His fee at the time was $7 million. In the same year, Matt co-starred with Penelope Cruz in the melodrama All the Pretty Horses, earning $5.5 million. At the same time, it became known that the man broke up with Winona Ryder. The celebrities have not commented on the breakup, but it is said that Ryder dumped Damon after she found out about his secret affair with Cruz. Indeed, Matt soon began to appear in public with Penelope, but a year later on the set of the movie Vanilla Sky, the girl fell in love with another actor, Tom Cruise, because of which she dumped our hero. After the breakup, Damon began dating model Kara Sands, but soon broke up with her as well, having a fleeting affair with Ben Affleck's assistant Odessa Whitmire. In 2001, Matt voiced the drama The Majestic and also starred in the crime film Ocean's Eleven as one of the Las Vegas casino robbers. He doesn't just take out your knees. The guy goes after your livelihood and the livelihood of anybody you ever met. You scared? You suicidal? Along with his partners in the film, he was nominated for an MTV Channel Award for Best Screen Team. His fee was $5 million. In 2002, Damon voiced the cartoon 
Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, starred in the TV series Will and & Grace, and The Bernie Mac Show. Besides, he became one of the two actors in the drama Jerry, all the dialogues in which were improvised as the director's plan was to burn the script on the eve of the first day of shooting. In the same year, Matt appeared in the thriller Confessions of a Dangerous Mind and did it for free, and also starred in the action movie The Bourne Identity, but for $10 million. Jason Bourne is dead. You hear me? He drowned two weeks ago. You're gonna go tell him that Jason Bourne is dead, you understand? Where are you gonna go? Out! The film was well received by critics and was a commercial success, and the role of a former CIA agent played by Damon returned public interest in films about spies. On the set, Matt began a romantic relationship with his partner in the movie, Franca Potenti, but soon his list of passing infatuations added another actress, Rona Mitra. In 2003, our hero starred in the comedy Stuck on You, during the filming of which he met the love of his life, the native of Argentina, Luciano Barroso. Damon met the girl in a bar in Miami where the actors dropped in for a couple of cocktails after a hard day's work. Luciana worked there as a bartender. That night, there were a lot of tipsy customers who wanted to talk to Matt. Tired of the public attention, the actor asked to hide him behind the bar, but the girl was not confused and immediately gave him a job. The celebrity paired with her to make cocktails, and she was able to earn decent tips. When the night came to an end, Damon asked Luciana out on a date, but she turned him down, admitting that she was a single mother. But that didn't deter Matt in the least, and the couple have been inseparable ever since. In 2004, the filmography of our hero was enhanced by the films Euro Trip, Jersey Girl, Ocean's 12, and The Bourne Supremacy for the role in which he was nominated for the MTV and Saturn Awards. In 2005, the actor voiced the TV series Law & Order Criminal Intent and the documentary short film Magnificent Desolation Walking on the Moon 3D. He also starred in the films Syriana and The Brothers Grimm, for which he had to take tango lessons and shave his head to be able to wear a wig. Grimm's the name. Two M's. We are the Brothers Grimm. I don't know who we are. Interestingly, Matt was originally supposed to play Jacob, and his film colleague Heath Ledger was supposed to play Will. But after reading the script, the actors persuaded the director to switch places. For his role in the film, our hero earned $10 million. Later that year, Damon married Luciana and adopted his six-year-old daughter Alexia. Later, three more daughters were born to this marriage, Isabella, Gia, and Stella. By the way, the names of his wife and children are tattooed on Matt's arm. In 2006, he starred in the thriller The Good Shepherd, and in the crime drama The Departed, where he played a police officer who was a secret agent for the Mafia. You erased me, huh? Oh yeah, go ahead, shoot a cop, Einstein. Watch what happens. Well, what happened is this bull would go right through your fucking head! Watch what happens! To get into the character as much as possible, he worked in a police department for a while. In 2007, Matt voiced the animated series Arthur and also starred in the films Ocean's 13 and The Bourne Ultimatum, for which he was nominated for an MTV award and received a fee of $20 million. In 2008, he starred in the historical drama Che Part 2 and in the following year in the TV series Entourage and in the film The Informant, for the role in which he had to gain 33 pounds. In between shots, he was constantly eating different snacks and drinking chocolate shakes. For this work, the actor was nominated for a Golden Globe. At the same time, Damon starred in the biographical drama Invictus, playing the captain of the South African national rugby team, Francois Pinar, whom he personally met on the eve of filming to get acquainted. Alex, we've become more than just a rugby team, and we might as well get used to it. The film received rave reviews from critics, and the actor was nominated for many film awards, including Oscars and Golden Globes. Filming took place in South Africa, and since there is an unbreakable rule in Damon's family never to be apart for more than two weeks, the producers of the picture had to pay for the accommodation of not only the actor, but also his wife and four daughters. Then, our hero's filmography was expanded with Cubed, Green Zone, Hereafter, True Grit, 30 Rock, Contagion, Margaret, Happy Feet 2, we bought a zoo and the Adjustment Bureau, in which Matt played Congressman David Norris. Let's race to that lamppost. On the pole? <laughs> if you like, yeah. All right, this is serious. All right, what are the rules? There are no rules. Oh, you bastard! Oh, my gosh! Interestingly for this film, Damon attended a real conference where the producers of the picture managed to negotiate the shooting. That's how footage was obtained, where the character of our hero communicates with President Clinton and famous senators. 
In 2012, the actor starred in the drama Promised Land, which was supposed to be his directorial debut, but due to tight deadlines and creative differences, Matt turned down the role of director and just played the major role. In 2013, Damon appeared in an episode of the TV series House of Lies and also starred in Elysium, The Zero Theorem, and Behind the Candelabra, for which he was nominated for numerous film awards, including the Golden Globe. In 2014, the collection of the actor's work was expanded with The Monuments Men and Interstellar, in which he played the astronaut Dr. Mann. In the next year, Matt played an astronaut again, but in another space movie, The Martian. I'm a botanist. Mars will come to fear my botany powers. The picture was well received, and the actor himself was nominated for many film awards, including Oscars and Golden Globes. He won a nomination for the latter. The fee, according to some reports, was between $15 million and $25 million. In 2016, Damon starred in The Great Wall and Jason Bourne. The fee for which is rumored to have amounted to at least $25 million. That's about $1 million for each of his lines in the film. Despite audiences' desire to see another sequel to the franchise, Matt admitted that this film could be his last Bourne movie, as it becomes harder for him to perform stunts and keep himself in good shape as he gets older. Then the filmography of our hero included the films Downsizing, Suburbicon, Deadpool 2, Unsane, and Ford vs. Ferrari, in which he agreed to act only for the opportunity to work with Christian Bale. What I'm saying is, you can't buy a win, Lee. But maybe you could buy the guy who gets you a shot. Matt was also supposed to play the major role in the drama Manchester by the Sea, but due to lack of time, he only acted as a producer of the picture. As a result, Casey Affleck, who replaced him, won an Oscar, and Damon was nominated for an award as one of the creators. In 2021, the actor starred in the thriller Stillwater and in the historical drama The Last Duel. For the role in the latter, he had to grow a beard, but it did not work, so the makeup artist used an overlay, which caused the man to have skin problems. In the next year, Damon appeared in the sci-fi action film Thor Love and Thunder and currently continues to be active in films. The movie Air recently premiered. He also completed shooting in the drama Oppenheimer and the thriller The King of Oil, and the crime film The Instigators are being prepared for filming. Among other things, Matt and Ben Affleck own a production company that has already released more than 20 films, for four of which our hero wrote the script. There are also advertising contracts in Damon's account. For example, he advertised the clothing brand Under Armour and a cryptocurrency exchange. Today, the celebrity's fortune is estimated at $170 million. The actor admitted in an interview that his fortune would be much higher if he had agreed to play the main role in Avatar. Matt could have earned 10% of the film's revenue, which is more than $250 million. But at the time, he was busy with other projects and had no idea that the film would become the highest grossing film in cinematic history. The celebrity pays special attention to charity, giving money to 37 foundations, many of which specialize in cancer research. This is due to the fact that Damon's father died of cancer. There are dark spots in the artist's biography. In 2015, he found himself in a scandal because of racial and gender discrimination. At one of TV shows, he said that a director's team consisting of a Vietnamese guy and a woman had no right to exist, for which he later apologized. In 2017, in the midst of the controversy surrounding Harvey Weinstein's harassment allegations, Matt said he knew about it but thought innocent male touching of female colleagues was acceptable. After his words, Damon was hit with a wave of criticism, which even led to his expulsion from the cast of the movie Ocean's 8. Matt hides details of his personal life from the media, but sometimes he can be frank. In one interview, the father of four daughters admitted that he also dreams about a son. But in 2021, there were rumors in the media that Matt's happy family is on the verge of divorce. The couple's scandals began because of the lockdown, but now the problems are over. Together with his family, the man lives in the upscale neighborhood of Brooklyn Heights, New York. Back in 2017, the couple bought a penthouse there for $16.8 million. The two-story, 6,200-square-foot apartment includes six bedrooms, several bathrooms, a living room, kitchen, and dining rooms. The family previously owned a luxury mansion in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles, purchased in 2012 for $15 million. The villa's area is 13,500 square feet. It has seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a walk-in closet, multiple living rooms, a kitchen, dining rooms, a gym, and a wine cellar. The grounds include a pool, spa, children's playground, waterfall pond, and covered porch. In 2021, the couple sold the home for $17.9 million, 
just as they were on the verge of divorce. The celebrity owned several cars, including a Cadillac Escalade, Tesla Model S, Tesla Model X, and Tesla Roadster. It was also reported that he has several Toyota models in his collection, Sequoia and Prius. During his career, the actor starred in more than 80 films and was awarded a named star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What is your favorite movie starring Matt Damon? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.